Okay. Alright, everybody, this is on my honor. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Jordan, I play guitar for the band. David, I play bass. I'm Drew, I sing in the band. I'm Lucas, I play guitar. I'm Jake, I play drums. Alright, so how would you describe your sound to David. Um, it's kind of like a nickelback. No, I have no idea. I mean, like old school, like drive through era, pop punk, like starting line. We have a lot of different different music backgrounds, so it all kind of comes together. To, I guess our, our meeting place is at pop punk. So. Yeah, we've all got a common background in that. Um, we try to be a little more technical, like musically we figure, than, uh, than a lot of pop punk bands. Um, than a lot of what people think whenever they hear pop punk and things like that. Um, try to be a little more intricate, try to push a few lines along those ends. Like a lot of bands like, like you said, like Rufio, Jimmy Eat World, Starting Line, Maybe Live, yeah. stuff like that. So how'd you guys like me? In 2003, I played in a band in high school with a guy that, that he ended up knowing a lot of years later. And uh, I played in a, a, a first band, and my first band played their first show. And the guy that was singing in the band forgot all the words, and some random kid grabbed the mic and sang the words to the cover song that we were doing. And I found out eight years later that it was Drew. So <laughs> technically, we played our first show together, but we didn't meet until like 2006. Yeah, and uh, in the six, me and the guy who spoke to me about we kind of like got together, started playing, and then eventually the three of us kind of like, came together. And we recruited David, we found Jordan. I don't even. Really Check out my couch about two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they found me on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was the concept behind your last album, Nature and Nurture? Um, as far as like a concept goes, uh, like from the title and everything like that, I try to think a lot about ideas of impact and uh, how your surrounding, what your experiences, the people you're with, like whether it's uh, implied, like an intentional, like whether you're trying to like actually project an impact or impression on someone how that's one way to impact things and also there are all these passive ways too. Uh, so sort of just how like everything really does affect everything else, especially whenever you're developing as a person or developing as a group of people and uh, that sort of thing. So it, it sort of was like a self-evaluation of a lot of things that we were all going through at the time, like collected experiences and also personal ones that uh, come out to be basically more or less about the ways that you can impact somebody whether you're intending to or not and the way your environment is canceled. <laughs> And what was the inspiration behind your last single? Um, the song itself is about a time recent, well not too recent, I guess we started, actually lyrically I started writing that song a good while back, um, but it's about a time whenever there were some people who were saying some things about us, uh, in our local team in particular, that caused some problems between us and another group of people in the scene that, the scene that uh, really didn't have any feet with us or vice versa, and uh, it's basically just a bunch of people who were spreading the vicious lies and rumors and uh, Finally, all got cleared up, but it was after a lot of me bugging and uh, just people kind of like being like, well, do we need to be here, blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's all good now. So. And what can you tell us about your split EP with the brighter light? Uh, we're releasing actually two versions of the split. Uh, we're, we're releasing the US version with the band from South Carolina called the Brighter Life that we've been for a long time. And then those same two songs that we released with uh, Above the Underground 2 in the UK, who we're doing this whole tour with. And we're excited about it. The will go up soon through Little Heart Records. And they might do something through Lazy Bear Records yeah. in the UK with them. But we're excited about it. We've heard the songs from both bands. excited about it. <laughs> so what's the craziest thing that has happened so far on tour? Um, on this tour, this thing here, keep it current. We let the British shoot guns for the first time. Yeah. About, about an hour after they got off the plane. Yeah. They <laughs> handed them all guns. And and their facial reactions are pretty. I think they're going to be putting up a tour video soon, and uh, you can see some pretty funny British faces and British exclamations whenever uh, the guns are going off. Yeah, we all walked around uh, DC last night at about 4 a.m. Yeah, they wanted to see everything, so we just made up a bunch of American history and told them it was true. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the Legion of Doom is on the other side of the Washington Monument. <laughs> But other, other than that, it's been it's, it's pretty early, so there's still a lot to do. But I mean, other than like drive-by moonings and vans and stuff like that, it's <laughs> it's fairly simple so far. All right, so going with the theme of like nature and nurture, I have some either or questions. So Apple or Android? Um, Apple. Droid. Apple. 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 We're gonna vote at the end. Blonde or brunette? Brunette.
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we didn't know that. Each other, <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs. Oh, no. <laughs> Both. There you go. Yeah. He's a lover. I can't choose. I love, I love me. Recording music or playing live? Uh, yeah. I mean, playing live. <laughs> I think being a drummer and having to do take after take and being a drummer, <laughs> <hard. laughs> I'd rather play it once live. Yeah. yeah. Recording's hard. Like, playing live's hard too, but if you mess up, you can't really. It's not like, okay, now let's do it 30 more times. It's just like, and now we can move on. <laughs> We all, I like recording a lot. I would say more so than maybe maybe there's yeah, it's, like, it's not like I have a hate for it. It's just easier to play. Yeah. I guess I'm just lazy. <laughs> you just spend all this time between the cats and the dogs. Yeah. Don't have time to practice. <laughs> Patron saint of cats and dogs. Twitter or Facebook? Twitter. Facebook. <laughs>